filming? <laughs> We're literally <laughs> so boring. Did something happen? Are we mad at each other? Later. You can have crusties or something. Sometimes. I just I just shower. I'm do not gonna eat it again. Do I just, just don't want to get up and put it away. Do you? Yes, rub I do. I literally right? get soap and I say mm, behind the ear. What up? Hello. <laughs> hey subscribers. <laughs> hey viewers. Hey, hey peeps. Friends. Are you watching on your couch or your phone or your bathroom because you're pooping? If you follow <laughs> us on the social media interwebs, you know exactly what this is. If you don't, hello. I am Maddie. I am Colby. And we are Maddie, Maddie and Colby. Colby. My gosh. So, today, this is our first video. Welcome to episode one of Woo Woo, the show that doesn't have a name. Oh, that's what you could just call it the show with no name. We I are Maddie and Colby, <laughs> and this is the, the show, show with, with no name. name. And this is all about oh me. God. Today, we thought it would be fitting to do the roommate tag because for those of you that don't know we're not only best friends but we, we also roommates. live together we are roommates mm -hmm. yes so we are starting episode one of the show with no name if you have a name suggestion let us know in the comments before we go any further if you want to see more or even finish this video go ahead and subscribe you don't want to miss any more videos there's a hair um, question no more oh no did you know each other before you became roommates Yes. yes. Are we a space issues? We're just gonna be like this the whole time. I have attachment issues. <laughs> what were your first impressions of each other? I thought she was prissy. Not because she acted prissy. I just, when we met, I was like, she seems prissy. What was your first impression of me? I don't think you remember me from that day. I totally remember you. You were with Michael. I said you looked familiar, I think, and Michael was like, she was on a show. Oh, gosh. And I, she said what it was, and I had, I had really, never heard of it. I was like, that's it. definitely not it. <laughs> but Sorry. cool. She's still never seen my show. I've seen clips that pop up on YouTube on like sides. It was like, Micah and Colby at dinner <laughs> with your dad. <laughs> How long did it take to become friends slash were you friends before becoming roommates? Yes. That was already yes, a question. question. 20 minutes. <laughs> August of 2014. At a it, songwriter's mixer. Yes. Didn't really become friends after that. Then on Halloween was our first like let's hang out. We have mutual friends. Yes, you and that was cool. it. Was Halloween morning? We went to IHOP. So we every year we still go to IHOP on Halloween morning. Get scary face pancakes. Yes, it's our friend anniversary date. So yeah, that was like six months. August to October. <laughs> Question number: What do you most commonly argue about? Most common. What's your answer? How many every day? We don't really argue. Honestly, we we bicker. We really. Mm, sh who takes a shower first? Oh yeah. <laughs> she doesn't even have to wash her hair, and she'll take a 35-minute shower. And you're like, you're not even <laughs> washing your hair. You just maybe 25. Is and that maybe the, most, though? the time uh, our our getting ready time. We don't argue. We don't argue. You just we silently just... ignore me when I take too long. <laughs> right. I, I I am working on not being so passive. <laughs> what? thing does your roommate do that most bothers you? You answer first. I think you just said yours. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> she leaves the toilet seat up when she flushes. Who? I'm a germaphobe. Do you Who know? else? The water in a toilet? She literally closes shoots. the seat if you after don't, they pee. Please start to do it. Um. That I borrow your clothes all the time? I was going to say that, that you use all of my makeup, but we share, that's just part of the deal. Yeah. Okay. I just can't think of one thing. Sorry. She burps a lot. Not but see, I love these quirks. Oh, thanks, you love that I burp. I really I do was gonna love say some of your quirks, just not the toilet one, because my know. germaphobe self. At the end of the day, you would want to talk about everything. And sometimes <laughs> I would just be like, I want to be alone, I want I like to go to bed. Not stay up for another three hours while I'm in bed. Wait, while you we talk. did used to do that all the time. All the time. We would time. see each other like every once a week or something, like have sleepover, and so I just would want to recap. But I'd be like, "Can't hey, go to bed," and then she'd life. be like, "Are you still up?" What do you think of your roommate's YouTube? It's bomb because we're in it together. Hers is great though, by herself too. Too. Go. Her channel is great, and you're gonna be posting more on there too. Yes. 
who spends the longest getting ready in the morning? Her. Next. Morning, afternoon, night. Who spends the longest bed. getting ready period? Hurt me. What is something you didn't notice about each other until you became roommates? You stay home a lot more than I thought. Like you are, you were more of a homebody than I thought. I love being. You nap home. a lot, <laughs> and you like watching Netflix so much, which is okay. I just didn't. I never. Hey, used everybody, to feel think... free to defend me in the comments. Um, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I just never really saw. Like you would say things like, "Oh yeah, I'm watching this show," and I could never envision you binge watching a show. I know what that looks like now. Like your true disgust for cleaning. <laughs> So she's not like a mess, like she cleans and stuff, but like I love cleaning. Like I it, like I get excited to do it and you gen like you do it, but like you don't enjoy it. No. I think for some reason I had in my mind like <laughs> like everybody loves to clean. I leave the toilet seat up. You're I like the husband I am probably gonna have. She can come in very quietly. I can. Which I, that's kind of surprising to me. I know how to sneak out too. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever get tired of seeing each other? I love you so much. I was gonna say no. It would have been a lie, but I was gonna say no. <laughs> Things that I'm like, okay, I just want to be by myself. It's not necessarily I hate Colby. It's just like I don't want to see you. <laughs> How do you avoid tension while living together? We, we communicate. Just, we communicate. We talk to each other. We're very honest with each other and mm -hmm. open to one. Yeah. If we have an issue, we're like, okay, I know you're upset right now. What? So either talk to me about it or get over it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you share a bathroom and how do you deal with it? Yes, we share a bathroom. And we do fine. Yeah. Do you pregame or go to parties together? Do you use your roommate's things without asking? No, I do text her every time before I try and close. It just Sometimes might be after you've left the house in it. Can I borrow this? I the thing with me is I would borrow your stuff more. That's just not an instinct for me. Because I grew up by myself. Oh. I didn't have sisters to take I have stuff sisters, from. you take everything. And I have ogre feet. I'm a size 11. I can't borrow shoes. I just, and I'm super tall. I just want to know what's leaving. So I know I'm yeah, not crazy I that I don't see Yeah, but I think sometimes when I borrow your stuff, you think I'm going to go like, jump out of a plane, maybe run in mud, maybe run with scissors. Do you cook together or separately? I cook. She eats out pretty much every day. I don't clean. I'm wasteful with my money. You're seriously the best roommate. What is the best memory you have with your roommate? Hard to remember those now. We have some good ones. One of my favorites. That was mine. I knew it. So it wasn't when we were actually living together. It was one of our first sleepovers of just us. Literally, I think the second one. So we oh. were in my first apartment. And yeah, one of our first. And it was just super late. And we were like just kind of, I think, having deep conversations and then we started getting delusional because it was late for us and so I put the little flashlight on on my phone and like shot it up to the sky and we did little my dog is trying to get in the finger buff that's on the ceiling so as we literally for about like an hour or longer, longer. <laughs> guys you don't we literally were like oh here I am oh here I call my oh, I'm gonna eat you. Eat you. and we're like yeah, if you ever thought we were normal, I'm sure that just got rid of it for you. Has being roommates affected your relationship? I was initially, for the past like two years, she's been like, we should live together. And I've been like, no, I don't want that. We're going to kill each other. I'm going to hate you by the end of it. And then she suggested we should live together. And I was like, no, I don't want that. It, we switched. But then, then we, we did. did. And I still was like, ah. It's only made me be like, okay, we're stuck with each other. We can't do anything wrong that's gonna like kill our friendship. Yeah, so. yeah. I am somebody who struggled a lot with like believing that friends could stay in your life. In the first like six to eight months of our friendship, I would be like, hey, if we're still friends next week, um, maybe we could go get our nails done. <laughs> like that really was how I acted. It was like in the beginning of the year, her sister was getting married in like September or something, right? Yeah. And I was like, or I was like, oh my gosh, that wedding's gonna be so fun. And I said something about it. And she was like, yeah, if we're still friends by then. That was, so yeah. conversational. I'm like, watch yeah, me. She literally was like, you're stuck I'm gonna with make me. it. She's been the one who's just stuck around and hasn't left even when I'm crazy sometimes. But, um, and vice versa. Right. That to say, being roommates has strengthened it. And it's magnified our flaws, but it's helped me love 
our relationship and our friendship even more, like despite those. And that is what love is, everybody. It is a choice. It's a choice. Yes, and we have chosen to be friends even when she hurts my feelings or I hurt her feelings or we say things we don't mean sometimes, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. We chose that we're gonna be friends and we're gonna love each other and that's what it is about. Yeah. Choosing to say it together. Choose love. Yay. Choose love. Choose love. Choose love. Well, that was it. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna think we're boring? Maybe. Let us know in the comments below. If you hate us. Or love us. Preferably love us. Remember, it's a choice. <laughs> Choose to love Choose us. Choose to subscribe and Choose like this video. Choose to like, I was just about to go there. Let us know any videos you wanna see us do. We're gonna do eight of them. Seven now, good to see. Seven more. Right. So we wanna know your ideas, we wanna know your name ideas too. A topic you wanna see us talk about, questions you yeah, have for questions. us. Whatever. We, we don't know books. much, but we know some things. What she said. That's what she said. <laughs> this is Maddie and Colby signing, signing off. off. See you next week on The, the show, show With No, no Name. Name. Fish. Fish. Is it too late to say I'm sorry now? Thumbnail this! Hold oh, on. we're so blurry. Let's get. Hello. Well, now we are.